an audience. And so it's going to be, um, you know, for a brave new world, basically, when everything gets back to somewhat of a normal existence, when we can actually go out in groups and have audiences and live shows. That's really the way I want to perform it. So that's something I'm really looking forward to, um, even if it's not till next year, but um, to work towards that. And I'm using this time uh, to read new projects and new material and, and also work on the projects I already had in development. But it's a great time for, um, you know, digital media and um, social media to have new platforms. And I see a lot of that happening, and um, I'm not opposed to taking um, my screening series, you know, um, on the road, so to speak, through Zoom or doing something that's more virtual reality with it. Mm -hmm. But I really do like the old-fashioned um, format of having an audience, um, be it for my show or screenings, you know, just with a Q&A live right there. And I think that even though Zoom conferencing and Zoom format um, or anything, you know, on the internet is happening right now and is probably going to grow because of this, I think people will really welcome getting back to the in-person, being able to, you know, interact and watch some live theater and um, films on the screen because right now all the movie theaters and the, you know, theaters are shut down, and some of them won't even survive, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So I think when everything gets back to normal again, and who knows exactly when that'll be, it'll be gradual, but there'll be a real return to live performance more than ever. And um, people going to see movies and wanting to have that experience again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very interesting and like you said now's a time like me I, I write stories too I do my own material and I've just been practicing more and writing scripts and uh, other stuff I'm not doing theater performances you know but still just writing you gotta stay busy you know so you don't go oh, yeah, crazy yeah. You know? I think that I've had more um, conference meetings and you know, meetings about scripts, uh, conference calls than ever before. <laughs> so it really increased the communication, oddly enough. So even though we have to social distance, you know, people are staying busy, they're reading material and they're interacting, and maybe they're reaching out more and paying more attention to the content than they were before. Because everybody had to slow down and really spend time uh, in isolation, and that gives them more of a chance to really pay attention to the content. Absolutely. And I think there'll just be a lot more, um, you know, new projects and new stories coming out of this, obviously. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, it, it's crazy, but people have to survive, you know, and I believe in the power of prayer, and, you know, we have to see where all this goes. Yes, yeah. And I think it was, you know... In some ways, it was good because people were having to re they still have to reevaluate their goals and their values. And, um, you know, I actually, I'm not opposed to um, telling stories and pursuing projects where the characters have to deal with COVID-19. So, um, you know, even though there may be a sense to escape and a lot of the content will want to be more comedy or more, you know, something that uplifts people because they don't want to deal with the reality of what we've all been facing and what we've been dealing with. I still think there'll be stories about uh, us having to struggle with, with this new normal and this um, historical pandemic that we've never seen in our lifetime. I think that will definitely come into the consciousness. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. My uh, last question to you is, what is your advice to people who want to be an actor or who want to get into the industry? Well, my advice would be, if you want to get into the industry because you really love it and you want to act or perform or be a storyteller, then do it. But if you're just getting into the industry for fame or fortune or all the 
money. byproducts yeah. of it. That it's a yeah, money. That it's a bad idea because it's a very hard industry. You have to really be passionate about it, and there's a lot of sacrifice involved. So make sure it's something you're really passionate about, and that you have the talent to pursue it. That you have the um, the real interest because it's going to take up most of your time, 24 hours a day, and there's a lot of giving up recreational things. You have to really focus on the work. So unless you're really willing to devote time to it and give your life to it, so to speak, um, you know, if you don't want to do that, then maybe find another line of work. But if it's something that you absolutely have to do because you care about the craft and you care about, you know, being a storyteller, then definitely pursue it and don't let anyone stop you. Absolutely. Yeah, you have to have the passion for it, the craft for it, and uh, you, you have to be in it, uh, you have to have full devotion to it, you know, You and don't go in it blindsided, you know, learn, right. <laughs> know what you're doing and learn uh, what you're doing, and take classes or uh, find a good acting teacher and... Yes, I do believe in that, you know, in honing your craft, um... But not everybody can learn to act. I mean, they can improve. It's like singing, in a sense. It's still a gift. Um, you know, if, if you really have the raw talent, then develop it. Um, but sometimes desire is more important than talent. I mean, if somebody really has the passion and the desire to develop their instrument, then they can do it even if they weren't given natural gifts. But, you know... Coming from the place of music and dance, you know, acting is just as much of a discipline as that. Absolutely. I always tell people acting is reacting, you know. Uh, exactly. I, I, can, I tell people I'm a people watcher, you know. I just, acting is reacting. I just study people. You know, it's fascinating. Yes, you can always um, learn from watching. Especially. People, how, they, how their behavior is. Yeah, especially if you're in the theater, you know, that applies very well in the theater. Uh, yeah, and my background is theater, and that really is, you know, for me, the ultimate, um, because if you can carry eight shows a week or sustain it on stage, that's just great training even for film acting, which is different. I mean, it's still coming from the same source, but it is, it is different, and... Um, you know, but it's still coming from the same uh, passion that you have for the character. Absolutely. But I still think you have to be devoted to it and really want it. And be in it for the right reasons. Absolutely. Like you said earlier, you can't be in it for the fame and the fortune and the money because it may right. not come. I mean, you know, it's... Right, and it also would be short-lived. So if you're in it for the long term, then that would be the, you know a line of work for you to go into, but it is very uh, challenging and it's not easy like people think. Mm -hmm. And the business itself is very treacherous. So like I said before, it's it can be rewarding, but it can also be uh, harder than most other professions. Absolutely. So you really have to want it. Absolutely. It is a business. It's show business, not show business, you know. It's, right. <laughs> people think it's... <laughs> more than, you know, meets the eye, you know, but it is a great industry to be in, you know, you have to be in it for the long haul, but it's rewarding. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Well, Kat, thank you very much for letting me interview you. I've had fun talking to you, and it's been a pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day, and um, we'll all get through this. Um, some people probably will like staying home so much they'll never uh, go back to the normal routine. <laughs> but, um, you know, I think it's great how many people have come together, especially in this country, and helped everyone. And a lot of um, kids and preteens and children are even becoming activists and really helping and um, bringing on that sense of community. So I think that's great. Absolutely. Yeah, it, it's interesting, and it's it warms your heart, you know, to see, uh, you know, everyone coming together during this difficult time. You know. Absolutely. Well, uh, thank you very well, much. 
you have a good day, and uh, I'll Thank send you. Thank you, you too, and uh, keep up the good work with everything you're doing. Thank you very much. Uh, I'll send you a link okay. to the interview once it's uploaded, so you can. Yeah, I can't wait to hear it. That's going to be great. Thank you. You have a good day. Thank you so much. Yeah, you too. Bye bye. Okay. And that was actress Miss Catherine Cat Kramer. Thank you very much for listening. I hope you all enjoyed it. As always, God bless you all.